Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to add mouse interactions to an escape room game in Godot 4. I have my scene set up and all the images in place. I have them ordered so that the correct items are on top of each other. To start with, we will click on the items in the room that we want to interact with and add an Area 2D as a child. Then we will add a collision shape 2D as a child of the area 2D. In the inspector, under shape, we will select rectangle. Then we will pull around the orange spots to make it the size we need. As you can see, the trash can has an awkward shape, so we are going to add a collision polygon 2D instead of a collision shape. We will click the area where we want the first point of the polygon, then click around where we want the other points. And click the first point to close off. The first thing we want to do is change the mouse icon to a custom hand icon, in order to show the player what can be interacted with. We will create a script. We will add at the top of this script var hand cursor equals preload and drag the image from our resources onto the script to automatically get the path typed in the script. We will create two functions change cursor hand and change cursor back. In change cursor hand we will type input.set custom mouse cursor hand cursor. And change cursor back, we will type input.set custom mouse cursor null in order to change it back. Next, we need to click on each of the areas. And under node, select the mouse entered event. We will select Pick, then choose the Change Cursor Hand function. We will also choose the Mouse Exited event, and pick our Change Cursor Back function. Next, we'll make some interactions that could happen when you click on objects in the room. We will make the open cabinet doors visible. We will add areas and collisions to them and connect the on-mouse entered and on-mouse exited signals to the functions we created. We will rename the areas, so when we add the functions, it will be easier to know what each function does. We will select the cabinet door 1 area, and under node select input event. We will type if event is input event mouse button and event dot button index equals mouse button left.
Then we will make the closed door not visible and the open door visible. When the open door is clicked, we will make the open door invisible and the closed door visible again. Next, we will make another interaction for the trash can. We'll add a paper shred and access card that we can find in the trash can when we click it. Click the eye closed to make them invisible. We will connect the input event signal and make these items visible when the trash can is clicked. We will move the trash can over so it is out of the way of the open cabinet door. The final interaction we will make is a detailed version of part of the room that will appear when you click on that part. We will add an image and add a check mark image as a child of that image to close the detailed part of the room. We will add an area and collision shape to it. When the door is clicked, we want the detail to show. When the check mark is clicked, we want to hide the detail. When we have the detailed part of the room selected, we only want the user to be able to interact with the detailed part. So we will add a variable, detail selected, and set it to false. When the door is selected, we will make detail selected true. When the check mark is selected, we will make it false. For the functions we just made for the items not in the detail, we will first add if not detail selected. Then we will click and select the code we previously wrote. Right click it and select indent to automatically indent it all one. We will do this also with the change cursor back and change cursor hand. We will add two additional functions, change cursor hand detail and change cursor back detail. They will change the cursor regardless of whether the detail is selected. We will connect the mouse entered and mouse exited functions of anything we can interact with inside the detail to these.
Now we have an escape room with interactable portions of the room and a detail that we can interact with. In the next tutorial, we will implement click and drag to put items in our inventory and use them to interact with parts of the room. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.